Nelly, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? Ah, very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Excellent. And you? Very nice. A good weekend. Very, very relaxing. Good evening. Good evening, Good Xiomara. Evening. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How about you? Good. How was your weekend, Xiomara? It was it was a uh, very exhaustive. Uh, I haven't rest. Why? Why, Xiomara? I can hear. Ah, uh, why? Nelly, can uh, you? Ah, yes. because okay. I, I worked Saturday, mm -hmm. and and Sunday I have, I have been um, saving things because uh, next month I, I will move to another house. Ah, okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yes. You don't way, want yes. to move. <laughs> what? You don't want to move. What? You don't want I, to move. I, I want to move, but the process of moving is very frustrating. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Because what? I don't have enough time. I, I do. Mm-hmm. In my free time, I do some after a uh, uh, little by little until the day come. Mm, the packing and the boxes the and everything, thing. right? Yes, yes. Yes. A little and, every day. And you have to be careful because you have to say, ah, if I pack, I can't use. So you have to think, what are you going to use and what you're not going to use? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I need more boxes. <laughs> right, Xiomara. The boxes is the hard part when you are you have to go and buy boxes because you you don't have any boxes and you need bags and many things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have to go to Santa Tecla tomorrow for for more boxes. Someone told me there's a place there for buying it. Yes, it's um, it's it's fairly, it's fairly close to, uh, Masferer, the the Masferer ah. school is Masferer school is in the side that goes to Lourdes, and the boxes are on the street that goes to San Salvador and La Ceiba. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. It's right before the gasoline station. Mm -hmm. Do you know some place with the name? Uh, the empaque, I think it's called. Ah, uh, okay. the letter D and then empaque. The empaque, um, I believe, is the name, okay, but it's, okay. it's not, yes. And they usually have, um, in the corner, they usually have like boxes outside. It's a it looks like a house, but they have a lot of boxes and things there. Okay, I will look for that place. Yes, when if you buy boxes, Yomara, I uh, are you going to go in car? Yes, yeah. Okay, because they also, I recommend buying, they have different packages. Don't buy the box mm -hmm. one by one. Buy the package, this uh, paquete de, de mudanzas or, or ah. combo de mudanzas, they call it, I think. Ah, yeah. okay. Because if you buy the box one by one, it's more expensive. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No, I need, I need a, a, a many, many boxes. Yes, they have combo de mudanza and they give you many different boxes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Hey, what about you, David? Do you like to move? Me? No, David. I, uh, I, me? I, uh -huh. Uh -huh, David, do you like to change houses? Well, I like it, but it's a, a really hard work to move to other house because you need to package many things. And when you see you have 
a lot of things in your house. So it's very difficult move to another house because you need to sometimes, well, for example, us, we, mo we moved in two years ago to here mm -hmm. and we need uh, to be mosque. We, we have, have to. We had to. We have to. Um, Gave many things to the people over there, many toys and another uh, beds, because here is a little bit more, a little bit sm uh, smaller than the other house. Okay. But it's nice, it's nice change house. How many times have you moved in your life? Well, only once. Only well, once. Oh, yeah. yeah be, uh, uh, one, when I get married with Nelly, got we that. went to the house. And, and then, then we go here to the other house. Well, only one time. Yeah. And and the family before Nelly? No. Nelly knows it. Mm, look at Nelly. Look at Nelly. The face. Mm, ¿Cuál familia? ¿Cuál familia? Ay. Ah. Ay, <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> No. So with your family, with your original family, David, only in one house all of your life? Yes, only one house. With your mom and dad? Yes. Oh. And, and Xiomara, what about you? How many houses have you lived in, Xiomara? Many. <laughs> many than five. More than five? More than five, yes. More than five. Before... When I was a child, uh, and now, and I have my my children. I am like you, Xiomara. I I <laughs> like I like to change houses. I like to move, and I lived in many houses. Okay, I don't like too much, but it was necessary. <laughs> oh no, I like it. I like to move. I like <laughs> I like to have many different houses and change. I have lived in. I don't know, but more than 25. What? <laughs> more than 25 wow. houses. Wow. Yes. In the in this country on or... even if it, well in this country I have lived in more than let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this country, I think eight. Eight or nine. Wow. Mm -hmm. and my children they they we talk about it my children too they say dad we always move I say yeah I know I like it when you have your children you make your decision if you want yes. one house stay in one house I don't like one house I like to change yes wow that's awesome <laughs> mm -hmm. but for them no they get scared but it's okay I like them to be scared they go <laughs> out of the comfort zone mm -hmm. okay uh, well Thank you guys so much for, for connecting. I see we're going to be only a small group today. Um, I see many people are missing. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Last week, we were finishing our midterm exam. Were there any questions about the midterm? Any parts that you could not answer that were not clear? Was everybody able to complete it? Make sure everything is all right. Yes, no question. Hector, did you finish the midterm exam? Everything was okay? Yes, teacher, I think. Okay. If there are no questions, then we can begin immediately unit four. But if not, we can check and I can help you correct. There's no question, teacher. No questions. Let's continue to the four. All right. That's what I like. Great attitude. Let's go to four. Perfect. Give us more time to practice unit four. Well, because David said continue, David is going to begin reading the objective. David, what is the objective for Unit 4, 4.0? Okay, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for describing feelings and gestures. Ah, amazing. This is one of those classes, which is, I love it because we talk a lot about feelings and gestures. David, what is the difference between a feeling and a gesture? What could be the difference? Well, feelings is that I, how how I feel now because, for example, 
I feel tired or I feel ha happy or angry. And the other is my expressions, I think. Correct. Very good, David. Feelings are emotions, like you mentioned, and gestures are your physical actions. The, how your gestures are what you express, what you do, exactly. And that's what we're going to learn now. How to describe feelings, the emotions, and then the gestures, the physical actions that accompany them. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed? bored, confused, frustrated, impatient, times as you need to. He's biting his nail. All right. So for us, it's better if we look at this image. It's here we can see on the bottom, section B, a lot of emotions. The man is feeling annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, and nervous. First, let's start with those. Do you understand what all of those feelings are? Me, yes. David, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, teacher. Also, oh, Xiomara, yes. Carla, do you know all of those words? Um, what's the meaning of whirling the five? Twirling, ah, over here in the part of twirling, great. Does anybody know what is twirling? Enrollando el pelo, no? Yeah, very good. So this would probably be letter A. Letter A is usually women because men don't normally have long hair. But usually twirling is you taking your finger and you make circles. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. What about let's take a look and match the sentence with the picture. Number one. He's biting his nails. E. D. Okay, good. He's rolling his eyes. B. C. Uh huh. It is C. Letter C. It's letter C. That's the idea. Rolling the eyes is when the, like, when the people move their eyes up or try to, ah, whatever. Mm hmm. What about he's scratching his head? F. F. Good. That would be F. Mm -hmm. He's tapping his foot. Letter E. Letter E. Exactly. Letter E. Sometimes people tap their fingers too, right? They go to, 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 but similar. Um, we discussed twirling his hair, letter A, and he's wrinkling his nose. E. B. Very good. So, when depending the emotion is what the people do, right? When the people are nervous, ah, they bite their nails, for example, right? When the people are impatient, many times they tap their foot. Okay. What do people do when they're exhausted or disgusted or bored? What do you think they do in the other ones? Tell me an emotion and what do you what do you or what do you think people do? 
So the people is exhausted. I think he is um filling his his air or scratching his head. Mm -hmm. I think. Like, I, uh huh. They're exhausted. They or even sometimes they look at their time. Right. I when is this going to finish? When is it, I? I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to finish. Things like this. That's what the unit is about. The feelings and the gestures. And that's what we're going to talk about. As we can see, super easy. Feelings are your emotions and gestures are what you physically do for those emotions. Okay. Here. Uh, Rebecca, can you please read the objective? Hi, um, go ahead, Rebecca. I read. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, in this class, you will listen, practice, and learn about body language using model and adjectives and adverbs. Good. Rebecca, what do you think is body language? What is this? I. What could be body language? Body language is um, gestos. Okay, good. Like gestures. Okay. Attitude. Attitude. Um. Um, this is this is a uh, a way that I I can mostrar show so my my emotion and I, or what I feel in in this moment. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's take a look at the video, very nice, and see what they're talking about. What could be some gestures and body language? Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A, listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. Hi, welcome. So what is the gesture that Raj is doing? What is the body language? What does he do? He moves his head. He moves He's his taking. head. Uh-huh. From side to side, right? From left to right. Have you ever seen somebody from India? Then you know. Yes. yes. They go from side to side. They always when mm -hmm. when he they talk, he moves him. They move they have yes exactly it's very common for them okay and of course it says that it's when they agree with you that's what it means mm -hmm. like in El salvador in El salvador we move our head up and down when the people are talking and we are mm, uh-huh we say yes right but we don't go from side to side like like that mm -hmm. good so now we're going to take a look a little bit about them. So what other gestures do you know from around the world? What other things have you seen from other countries? For example, teacher, when I was a child, I watched Chavo del Ocho, he moved his, his, his finger. 
his finger. Oh. How did when, he? Uh huh. When he want to say. Eso, eso. Oh, so okay. So he moved his finger. That that, that was another way. Okay. Teacher, uh, okay. I don't know. He shaking the hands when we introduce another person with another. They shake their hands and another when we say hello with the oh bye bye with the hands. Okay, when you say hello or bye bye with your hands, correct. Uh -huh, right. Many times if people uh -huh, they go like this, right? And then they also have in El Salvador we have Vení pa acá. Mm -hmm. Or or for example, uh, hands, heads, hands, casters, mm -hmm. like like the Argentines. Like ah, oh, okay. For example, what I'm trying to think, what hand gesture? What hand gesture? What did the Argentines do? The Argentine, I think, is more expression for the yeah. palabra. No sé si eso es mal, mal, mal creado que de ellos, pero ellos hacen mucho ese gesto con la mano y dicen boludo. O che, me diga te pasa, che. Oh, like the Italian, where they go like this, where they where they're like this. I see, yeah, I see yeah. Nelly, I see Nelly, Nelly is like this. Mm -hmm. huh? I see Nelly, she, cuando le hablo a David. Okay, okay, uh huh. <laughs> it's common, right? Mm -hmm. The Asiatics they have uh, he make a shake when he say hello. Okay, okay. Also, the Asian, uh, when they they bow, do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, they bow, uh huh. They bow their heads, very nice. Okay, when well, you ask for a ride. You say, you do this. Ah, exactly. We go like that, right? We ask for a ride using our, our thumb. Mm -hmm. yeah, when, when the shoulder uh, is big in front of his coronel, uh -huh. they, they do this test. With your hand. To salute, they, right? They yeah. salute. Ah, okay. Also, the military have their special gestures. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a lot of different gestures. Sometimes we have gestures and the people don't realize it. For example, when I met my wife, uh, my wife has a very particular gesture and she likes to point things with her mouth. So when she wants to talk about something, mira aquella, she always would be like this. Mm -hmm. When she would try to act like she is not speaking, she's like, oh. And I went, huh, what, huh? And because we don't do it in my family, but I understood her, the gesture, right? Okay. So, and when, when we are waiting intentionally, we are doing oh in the table uh -huh. tapping our fingers exactly also we tap our fingers very common when you are waiting and you're like ah. and they take forever and you are you are ready and you say i know these people they are long long time mm -hmm. when we need to allow uh, silent teacher we 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 do this yes ah also for being quiet mm -hmm. or other gestures like when the baby is sleeping or to carry many different things many of the times our gestures are way to communicate naturally we don't even think about it today we're gonna have two links you can choose whichever link you want it's in the chat please choose the or choose both links and open them and we're going to have a few moments to discuss some emotional questions questions about feelings with our partners 
So we're going to take a few moments about questions with our partners about feelings and emotions. Or teacher. Yes. When uh, the posture we make, we crossing our arms, it usually is when we disagree with something. And that too, when you disagree with something or when you are defensive, right? You're like, hmm. I don't believe it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when we uh, are working for a, a role or a, a way and the smell is awful and we are the gesture like this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Like when the person didn't take a shower. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Well, now, first, do you have the link? Were you able to look at the questions? Yes. Yes? Okay. So we're going to practice those questions with our partners. Okay. So choose one question. I'll give you an example. Choose one question and then we'll try. Are you a sensitive person? Um, I have to say that, yes, I am quite sensitive. Um, I cry during movies, and I always feel attached to the characters. Not only that, but also I have I feel that I have a lot of empathy, and I understand people's problems. I try not to judge others, and I consider that that's probably what helps me to be sensitive. Not in so much that I cry in real life, but yes, that I understand and that I am comprehension of, comprehensive of other people. So I would, that's it. Choose a question and then answer it and give the examples. Is not correct? Yes, I am. And you? No, this is not an answer. This, 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 is, this is not a good answer to get a job. This is not a good answer to improve your English. No, yes, I am. Why? No, I'm not. Why? Give examples, give details. Are you sensitive? No, I'm not sensitive. I never cry in my family. Uh, always we are very... Mm, uh, chauvinistic machistas we are very chauvinistic and the men do not cry only the women and so my father told me no cry or I hit you and I don't know depends your life right so each person describe your answers are we ready okay ah okay thank you Thank you very much, Ada. Thank you very much, Flor, for putting Oyente at the beginning of your name. It makes it a lot easier. The same, Carla. Thank you very much. Oui, wow. So we have Carla Oyente, Ada Oyente, Flor Oyente, Jocelyn Oyente. Oui, we have a lot. Okay, hang on. <laughs> we have a lot of people that cannot participate today. Let's see if we're going to change these up a little bit and try to make it a little bit better for the others. Okay, so we're gonna have one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and then Nelly over there. Okay, all right, so we're gonna have three groups. Don't worry, some people, they, they are not going to be able to participate, but it's okay, it's gonna say oyente, so that way you know that they're they're not able to participate with you. All right, so ask the other partners, okay? Oh, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay, Fleur, it's, uh, uh -huh. it's okay. Uh, the important is that we try to practice with the other people that can.
Daniel, did you have problems with the connection? Uh -huh. What is the question? I don't hear anybody speaking. Only what, what's going on? What's going on? Speak. Uh huh. Daniel, hey, Gabriel, what's the question? What's the question? Can you? Okay. Can you control the emotion well? Hope. Uh -huh. Daniel, Gabriel, go ahead. Daniel, I don't, I can't hear you. Uh -huh. Gabriel, we don't hear you either. Gabriel, now, yes. Hi, teacher. Uh, uh, my my señal de internet is is. Está fallando el internet, teacher. No, no sé. Gabriel, it's not good. Your connection. Hello. Okay. Okay. Can you control your emotion? Well. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm very nervous when I, um, when it's the first time that I go to a place or in an interview. An interview, yes, always is very or nervous. when I have to... Like, to meet poner, someone? <laughs> I poner un tema. Mm -hmm. A presentation, a presentation. Okay. And... Um, do you I think... To... Oh, sorry. And yes. I try to can come uh, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about things that I sure and uh, looking to the people mm -hmm. um, as a known person. Okay, this a question is the last one. 23 and is for three of us are women are women more and more complicated but only you need is practice mm -hmm. okay another question another question the... I have one. nelly for you okay okay uh does this drive you crazy when the waiter ignore you? Excuse me? Ah, oh, when I, someone ignore me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Especially when someone, it's someone that I... Okay. Yes, Daniel. Teacher. Yes, Xiomara. We were in the most interesting question in, <laughs> at, at the end. I heard, I heard. <laughs> Nelly was explaining. She doesn't like to be ignored, especially when people, and then 
cut. <laughs> How do you say it? it? I know this bad expression, but how do you say in cachimbado? Uh, the nice way would be to say when she's nice angry or, uh -huh, or upset. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So Nelly doesn't like it when she's angry and the people ignore her. Ah, David, I can imagine. Te estoy hablando. ¿Para qué te vas para Te estoy hablando. <laughs> A teacher. Yes, Rebecca. Hungry. I think that we we Salvador uh, does not cover everything that I want that I want to see. <laughs> it's always it's very typical, right? That uh, we always have to learn to control ourselves. Control ourselves. Mm. All right. So now we have many ideas. Go ahead, Daniel. Thank you. When when I talking with Hector, he asked me what is the what did you control with your situation? But I think the stressful in a in a, um in a every, every day with the traffic and other kind of stress stress. Uh, sometimes it's difficult control the the emotion because the stress is a uh, is a big problem uh, nowadays okay daniel do you think you have a lot of stress excuse me excuse me teacher i can hear you do you feel a lot of stress yeah yeah <laughs> i imagine i i is especially do, do you drive daniel or do you take the bus or the motorcycle uh, when i go to my work i drive a motorcycle but when i, I arrive to my work i drive a car and okay. that's uh, it's, it's really stressful for me the the stress is with the car not with the motorcycle yeah the car because the motorcycle it's uh, i feel uh, free with the ride in the in the, <laughs> in, the <laughs> in the street and the other yeah, this is without stress in the motorcycle. Okay, okay, all right. You can imagine. I imagine Daniel is the the person, the motorcycle in the middle. Yes, Daniel. You don't. Yes, Daniel. No, no, no. no. Stress, that's in right? stress. That's why no, no stress. No, no stress. In the cars are very stressed no. with him. No, only in the in the freeway in the. In when the street is free, I uh -huh. but when they see the traffic, I try to 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 waiting a back in oh. the other in the no. other car. Yeah, no, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. I I ask because I don't I don't experience this stress. I never I never drive to work. Um, I don't take a car to work. I don't have a motorcycle. In, in my job, I the most I walk to work, so I don't have the stress from the society for traffic, for being late. Ay, se me va a ser tarde. I don't have the stress because I don't have this experience. Do you live very near of your work? Yes, this is wow. one. I live close to my job physically, and also because my other jobs online, so only I. Open my laptop. <laughs> connect, Peter, you look it. like someone very peaceful. Um, I think I think that most of my life I'm very relaxed. It's not a big deal. It's like well, mm -hmm. but I understand. And that's what we're going to go on to the next part. Now we have our meaning, we have the idea for feelings and gestures. Now we're going to learn about models and how we can use models when we describe our emotions, when we describe the feelings and the gestures. For this one, it's 4.5. We're learning about models and adverbs. Okay. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. 
Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use Okay, and here's the chart. Let's take a look at it. So when you are not sure it's a small possibility, we use words, we use words like might, may, maybe, or perhaps. When you are very sure and you are almost positive, you use words like must and definitely. And when you are in the middle, you use words like could, possibly, or probably. It's okay, the different words and the different meanings? I have a question, teacher. Yes, Yomara. Sometimes uh, one model uh, confuses me because uh, the model could. Sometimes it's in the past, sometimes it's uh, uh, something that uh, we are not sure, but when we, when we know, when do we have no? When it's in the past or or a doubt. It could mean, uh, like the example, it could mean uh, something or it it could mean the past. Esto pudo ser o esto podría ser. Eso me, com me confunde. Okay, well, this is because it's the same words, Yomara. It only changes the meaning. It's like banco. Banco, depend the context, is going to be different. The same, like prima. Prima, depend the context, is going to be different. So you have to understand that they are the same word and different meanings. You do not go to a bank y entregas tu prima, pero depositas una prima. Right? So the same thing with could. Could is the same function. Sometimes it's can, like an ability. I can speak English. I can swim. In the past, I could. In other times, it's not an auxiliary. It is a model. And the model is could, that means maybe. Okay? Or for possibility. So depend the context, which one. If you're talking about an ability or a talent, then it's going to be can or could. And this means present or past. If you're talking about imaginations or things that are maybe, then it's going to be for possibility. Does that help you, Xiomara? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. And remember, Xiomara, the difficult about modal verbs is different than in, in, in Spanish because modal verbs have many meanings, not one, not two. Sometimes they have 11, 12 different meanings for one word. So it depends on context each time that you have to interpret. If it's for ability, talent, maybe, possibility, imaginations, permissions, many different ways. Teacher, uh, these expressions, it's when I talk more polite, right? Um, Not necessarily polite, only for maybes. So... What are you going to do oh. tomorrow? You can say, uh -huh. oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go or I'm... Can you, uh, make a, can you make an example for each one to... Yes, exactly. So what are you going to do tomorrow, David? I don't know. I might go to church. I might stay home because it's my vacation. This is the might, may, or maybe. Okay? Because you don't know. Oh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. And I... Um, I must go to church because I have to help the the priest. I definitely will go because we have uh, I have to read from the Bible. This is the idea for must and definitely. I made plans. It's not 
a maybe is already planned. That's why it's must and definitely. When it's not planned, when I don't know, it's might, may, maybe, or perhaps. And then in the middle, hey, um, Nelly, what do you want for dinner? Oh, we, we could eat pupusas or pizza. Uh huh. Or we could stay home. It's the possibilities are the same. They're all different possibilities. Only you offer one. Mm -hmm. The same. Oh, um, what do you think? Well, I don't want to spend a lot of money. So probably good idea to stay at home. Is that a little bit better, David? Yes. Okay, good. I have another Ready? question, teacher. Of course, of course. Go <laughs> ahead, Samara. Uh, um, we are using only with the pronoun it, the models, but it is using also with the pronouns she, he, you, um, I. Yes, but we are, we are not using, uh -huh, we are not using only with it. It's only mm -hmm. for the definition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Daniel? Yeah, I have a question too. In the adverbs, it may be, and perhaps it means, it mean, uh, what is the difference? Because um, in a few months, I discovered when it may be, it's informal, and perhaps it's formal. But it is the same uh, means? Yes, David, it, it is. Um, Daniel, sorry. Uh, maybe and perhaps have the same possibility. And they have the same level. It means a little possibility of what it could happen. Now, one of the things is that because of today's topic, gestures is why we are using it but we can use for others. For example, I am new, I am not Salvadorian. And when the person point with their mouth, ¿Qué significa eso? Oh, maybe somebody from Japan give me their opinion. Oh, it might mean the person is hungry. Uh -huh. They want to eat. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But the Salvadorian, oh, it must mean that they want you to look at something. That's why we're using it. And like the, the case of Xiomara, um, we are look, using it today with it because we are talking about gestures, but we can use with anything, okay? If if I see David and David goes like this, huh? What is this? Is this goodbye? Is this come here? What 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 is this? Oh, uh, my friend Xiomara, it might mean he wants you to visit him. Perhaps it means he wants you to go over there. This is the idea for the difference. Okay, Only okay. the same words have the same level mm -hmm, of possibility. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay. So what are we talking about? The idea of using them, models and adverbs. It's only about the idea of what do you think? It's kind of like, oh, why do they mean that? What does it mean? So when you see something, what do you think? So... For example, if you see this, what do you think? What does this mean? That's right. Oh, that's okay. It's my mean that's okay. okay. That's okay for you, right, David? For you, Xiomara? For me, it's, it might mean 
That's right. And my minotaur, that's right. Good. And you, yes, Daniel? Yeah, I think in this case, well, this sign is excellent. Is excellent. Very nice. Great. This, And that's because we are Salvadorians. And for Salvadorians, that's what is the meaning. For the United States, this symbol is many times used for the Ku Klux Klan. Estos son para racistas. Si te dicen así, es que son los del poder blanco y están contra latinos o negros. This is another, but we are exactly, it's for the three symbols, the Ku Klux Klan. Mm -hmm. So it depends the culture. Each culture is different. Yes, correct. It's very different. And if you don't know the culture, ah, it's going to be different for you. So you're going to say, hey, what, what does that mean? And the person is going to say, I don't know. Uh -huh. And it depends on each one. It's not always, but is many times. So for example, here, depend in your friends in the zone. I send you a link. That way you can see the link if you want, so you can understand. Mm -hmm. It's for the white power. Mm -hmm. In this case, this street finger uh, form the W and the other the letter P. Yeah, wow. exactly. Uh huh. And here, like we say in El Salvador, many times it's okay or good or no problem. In Japan, in other countries, is que no tiene ningún valor. Es basura. No sirve para nada. Is the same the symbol for because it's like a zero for them. Teacher. Yes, Yamara. <laughs> we have to be very careful in another country with our gestures. <laughs> yes, the same, the same. Because when the when we use the gestures with our mouth in El Salvador, it means we are pointing. In the other countries, it's sexual. Have a uh, sexual incognitation. So you have to be careful how you do it. Once I heard uh, in Russia, mm -hmm. people people uh, doesn't smile don't show the teeth to smile that's it is not allowed to to smile from another well not it's not allowed but it's not appropriate because mm -hmm. russia the culture is not fake this is you are a hypocrite for example right now i say uh, you are we are talking and I say, hey, tomemos una foto. And, and you see in El Salvador, the people are not smiling. Ay, esperate, esperate. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the smile, and then the picture, <laughs> yeah, toman la foto, yeah. Okay, so what we were talking about in Russia, this is not permitted because for mm -hmm. them, you are false. You are not real. And if you, if you are fake in the picture, you are a fake friend and not a real friend. If you are laughing because you are laughing, it's correct. But not pretend to laugh when it's not real. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Daniel. Yeah, uh, another sign when I had the opportunity when I was in Italy, when I finished your food, as hey, what about your food? And the Italy, 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 Italian persons show that. And I say, what is, what's about, or what does it mean that in Salvador don't use this design, but this means uh, the food is delicious. Oh my mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Like in El Salvador, we go like this, no entendió. Right? The same thing. Mm -hmm. Each symbol, each gesture is different. And that's why we use those models or others because we try to interpret them and you use the symbols like it might mean it may mean it could mean some are very common universal for example i am hungry 
the person is hungry, right? Very common. Uh-huh. Others for the drink. A little bit different because some people put the finger up and they go like this. Mm -hmm. But depend because for us, this is drink and this is alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Teacher, so, but it's, it's very complicated, but it is to be very careful. Yes. And that's why it's important to understand yes, the yes. culture, not to offend the people. Because sometimes you offend the person and it's not your intention. You don't, it's only that you are not educated. So here we have a few pictures and I want you to tell me what do you think they mean? Take a look at these images, okay? What do they mean? I'll make it bigger so it's easier. Mm -hmm. Number one. What do you think that means? So crazy. So crazy. Ah, <laughs> the person is crazy. The person oh, is cuckoo. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about number two? What is number Num two? Come, Come here. here. Come here. here. Okay. Maybe they are calling the person. Good. Number three. Be quiet. Okay. Be quiet. Very common. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. Number four. Peace and love. Oh, it's a victory. Peace and love. Peace and love. Uh huh. I think maybe those those más, pero okay. I I uh huh. Peace and Peace. love. <laughs> uh huh. Peace and love. Good. Number five. Maybe it's when you have you want to have luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, some people wait wait the some uh, situation occur. And cross cross finger inside. Ah, uh, some people cross the finger for good luck. Also, some people cross to lie. When they say, Daniel, do you promise not to do it? And you cross your finger, yes, I promise. This means no, it's not a true promise. It's true, it's true. <laughs> Who said it's true, it's true? Who said that? Joe. Joe, can it Joe? Who's Joe? Rebecca. Ah, Rebecca. Ah, Rebecca lo hace. That's why. Jojo. Ah, it's true. <laughs> no, me lo han hecho. Por eso sé. Ah, uh -huh. So, Carla, ¿has engañado a tu novio? No, nunca. Hmm, this is <laughs> it meant, it's a lie. But it's a way to trick for some people. Mm -hmm. That's right. And number six, what is number six? I can't hear. Oh, I can't hear. Okay. For me as a teacher, it's different. For me as a teacher, it means pone atención. Or it's a gossip girl too. Oh, or for others it's gossip. If because if I tell my student this is pongan atención. Can you hear? Ah, uh-huh. This is the difference. So depends. But that's the idea. The idea is using and describing our gestures and emotions. So don't worry. Tomorrow, we're going to take a moment and practice a little bit of speaking and different cultures and different things. Okay? Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for connecting. Our time is finished. And we continue again tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Have a nice, uh, good night. Thank you. You too. Have Thank, a you. Good. Thank you. See you later. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Uh -huh. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ay, a ver, a ver quién entiende. A ver quién entiende. <laughs> ya ve? Star Trek. Uh -huh. ya ve? Ah, peace and love. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye-bye.